Hey guys, on this video, I want to take a look at your iPad Pro. So this is a setup video. Now, it doesn't really matter which iPad Pro you guys have, the smaller version, which is this one, or the bigger one. You guys can just follow the exact same tutorial for the setup, because it's the same thing. So we're gonna just flip it around and get started. All right, so first things first, turning it on. You guys will notice up here, there's the power button. It's right beside your volume keys. So all you guys have to do is just hold on to it. Hold on to the power button until you guys see an Apple logo and then let go of it. So it should come with some battery. For all the iPads that I've seen so far, they all come with 80% battery. That means if your iPad's completely dead, return it. That means it's refurbished, something's going on. Anyways, once it's turned on, you guys are gonna see this. Choose your language, choose your region, whichever it is, you guys can scroll down to see more. Then go on and choose your appearance. So you guys can go all the way to default, which is medium-ish size, go to medium, large, small. If you guys take too long, yeah, it goes back like this. Don't worry about it. And going to continue on. Quick start, you guys can use this if you guys have an iPhone or an iPad beside you. Just have Bluetooth turned on, don't have it in power saver mode. It's gonna detect this beside it, and it's gonna give you a screen. So it's gonna give you a little prompt saying quick start. From there, those two are just gonna sync up and keep going. If you don't have that, if you don't wanna import any information, you're brand new to this, just click here. Or if you just don't want to sync it up that way. Just going to another device, then choose your Wi-Fi network, put in your password. Once you put in your password, press on join. And here we go, it's gonna hook up. So what happens if you guys have a hotspot? Same thing, it's a Wi-Fi network. That's what this is gonna see this as. So you guys can definitely set it up using a hotspot if you don't have regular Wi-Fi. For now, this is gonna take quite a bit. So make sure that if you are using a hotspot, you might have to run an update, which means it's gonna take quite a bit of your data. Anyways, right now it's gonna tell us update now, update later, always update now. It will restart. We're gonna press on agree on the top right hand side. Then it's gonna restart. Okay, so just let it be. It's gonna restart, you're gonna see an Apple logo. Then later on, you're gonna continue on with the update. So just let it be. Again, battery life is at 86%. So it'd be kind of weird even if you guys have 50%. If you do have 50%, you will have to hook it up to some electricity. If your iPad came with zero, completely dead, return it. I would not use an iPad like that because having at 0% and who knows how long it's been stored for, that battery could already be damaged. So don't, don't do that. Just go ahead and return it if it came like that for you. All the iPads that have come to me, they all had 80% battery. That's the way it should be. Anyways, right now we're just gonna wait for this update to be done and then we can continue on with the setup. So once your iPad restarted, just keep going with the whole setup. It kinda tells you the same thing again, but anyways, right now we're at privacy, we can continue on. From here, set up your iPad. You guys can set up for your child or family or just set up for yourself. Uh, if you guys choose a child, you guys can set up restrictions, screen time, stuff like that. If not, you can still do that, by the way, but that just makes it easier. Right now, we're gonna set up for ourselves face ID. This is something where you have to move your face all the way around, so I'm gonna teach you what that means. If you guys don't wanna import any personal information, choose down here, set up later. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to set this up, though. So we're gonna go into continue on, and right here, it kinda tells you what you're supposed to do. Just move your face all the way around. We're gonna get started, and this is how you guys do this. Then press on continue, do that again. And you're done. Continue on, create a passcode. So in this part, you do have more options. You guys can set up a four digit code if you want to make it easier on yourselves. I'm gonna just use something really easy, but you guys should use something better if you guys want to keep this protected. If you guys want it easy on yourselves, just choose something like me. Anyways, right now you guys can transfer anything that you guys want to your iPad, well, almost anything. So right here, you guys can transfer anything from your iCloud. If you has had an Apple ID before, you guys can transfer it from another iPad. So bring that iPad right now beside you or go on and transfer from your Mac or PC or don't transfer anything at all. I usually skip the part from transferring anything from Android. It's almost useless. And uh, by the way, transferring from your Mac or PC, it's almost useless as well. Might as well just do iCloud backup. Anyways, right now, we're gonna assume you're brand new to this or you want you don't want to import anything because you don't want to transfer anything. Going to here, start from fresh. So right now you guys can create an Apple ID. 
If you don't have one, if you do have one, put it in right here, your Apple ID. Or again, if you don't have one, or if you want to skip this part, go into this, forgot password. From here, you guys can create an Apple ID. So create Apple ID, put in your first name, last name, date of birth. It's going to ask you for your email. Now, if you guys don't want to import anything, go into setup later in settings, don't use, and then keep going with the whole setup. Right now, automatic updates. I suggest having this as only download automatically. That's because sometimes when people have this turned on automatically, just the downloads and installs the latest update, things could happen. Your apps, maybe one of your apps that's not up to date because the developer might not work with the latest update, so it might stop working. You don't want that. So I highly suggest not letting it automatically update. So I'm gonna go on into download automatically, but that's it. It's not gonna install by itself. And right here, if you guys wanna use GPS, go ahead and turn on. If you don't, don't. You guys can always set this up later in settings, by the way, Siri. So again, if you guys don't want to import any personal information, check that off, set up later in setting. But if you guys want to set up Siri, which is extremely useful, going to continue on, I'm going to teach you how to set that up right now. Right here, you guys can choose the voice for Siri. I like voice number four, it's just what I'm used to. Going to continue on. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And as you guys can see, all we did was read off whatever it said there, and your Siri is all set up. Going to continue. From here, you guys can share your audio or not. So most people will choose not now. I don't care. I'm going to share it. And screen time. This is good for restrictions to see how much screen time you're spending on which app and all that stuff. If you guys want this, go ahead and set it up. If you guys don't care because you're an adult and you're just going to use it for whatever you need to use it, set up later in settings. You never need to set that up, by the way. And analytics, you can set this. Well, you guys can share this with Apple or not. I'm going to share. You guys can share more information about analytics with developers. You don't have to. I'm going to share it anyways. Right here, light mode or dark mode. You guys can set up automatic. What automatic does, it makes it light mode during the day, dark mode during the night. Right now it's light mode because that's easier for this video, but I personally like dark mode. Continue on and we are done. So right now the main apps that you guys get, the only apps, if you didn't import any of your personal apps in here are these and that's it. There are no more apps that come pre-installed on your iPad. If you guys want more apps, social media apps, go into the app store and uh, especially social media apps, those will be free. There's a bunch of them free. So go on and do that. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys want to see the manual of how to go on and use your iPad, I do have a manual for it. So make sure to check out that video. And that would be it for this one. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.